behind the smile. Amen? Because God's been so good to me. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't have time to tell it all, y'all. I don't have time to tell it all. So I'm going to get up here and do my inspiration and let God have his way. Amen? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give honor to all who honor is due. Motherhood, so good to see you again. Um, to Superintendent Michaela, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, to his wife, um, to the Elder Jones, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I, I knew that, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Elder, thank God for him, and let's see, who else am I missing, to Elder Davis, praise God, Pastor Davis, amen, and I, I don't want to get in trouble, because I'm going to start calling names and I forget somebody, amen, <laughs> But to who all honor is due, and to my husband, amen. amen. Thank the Lord for my husband supporting me. Of Adonai, to Adonai, I love you. Thank you for coming out tonight. Amen. I praise God for you. They heard I was doing an inspiration, and they just said, we're coming. Amen. And to my Inland Empire friends and family, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out. Amen. I'm just going to give a short prayer. God, I thank you for this night, God, that you have me up speaking to your people, to your young people, God. Lord, I ask that they see the God in me and that I be out of the way, God, so that you can have the glory. Lord, I know that deliverance has been done here, God. Healings have taken place here. Lord, I thank you that minds have been regulated, God. I thank you that hearts have been mended here, God. And Lord, for that I am grateful. And I know that you're doing a great work. But we thank you for the ones that have put this together, God. And we thank you, God. Lord, we thank you because you are praised. You are magnified. And you get all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Young people, so good to see you. Amen. Pray. speaking to the young at heart. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. I just want to know how many of you brought somebody with you tonight? Amen. Young people, you brought somebody with you tonight? Isn't that what it's really about? About sharing God? About sharing the love of God? Hallelujah. How many of you are excited about Jesus? Yeah. Hell, I, well, I don't hear nothing. How many of you are excited about Jesus? sharing this great gospel, sharing Jesus with any and everybody that you can, amen? It's kind of like when, when you have your rocking Republic jeans, amen, or you have your iPhone or your Michael Kors purse or something like that, a car, you want to share it, right? You want everyone to know about that, right? So that's what it is, that same excitement, you want to do that same thing for Jesus. Yeah. And you know, I mentioned those designers briefly, amen, and I can go on because I know you know about them, young people. Right. I know you know, right? But you know what, I want to talk about something. Yes, those are good designs, and those were created by designers carefully, and, and, and just, you know, they made sure that they gave it to the public and they wanted you to love it. But I want to talk about you tonight. I want to talk about you being designed by God. Designed by our Creator. Amen. He so lovingly and carefully just took care of you and designed you for a time as this. Amen. Praise God. They say the youth are the church of tomorrow, but you're the church of today. You've got a work to do. Amen. You've got a work to do by your design. Guess what? You are by no means generic. All right. You know, there's a brand name on you. Amen. Right. You are branded by God. Amen. Yeah. So you know how sometimes when you go ahead and you say you got like frosted flakes, but then your mama might come and get you some corn flakes, and you say, it, it don't taste the same. Amen. <laughs> But you are by no means generic. God has a specific design and purpose for your life. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. In Ephesians 
1 and 11, it says, it's in Christ that we find out who we are and who we're living for. Long before we first heard of Christ and got our hopes up, he had his eyes on us, had designs on us for glorious living. Part of the overall purpose at that he is working out in everything and everyone. You have seeds of greatness in you. Seeds of greatness. And those seeds are giving life to your purpose. They are doing something in you and for you. You have been called and chosen right now to share with your friends about Jesus. For those of you that don't know him right now and you're here tonight, there's a purpose for you being here tonight. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There was no coincidence. Because there's no coincidences in God. It's all God's handiwork. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He has set his sights on you. Because guess what? You matter to God. Amen. You matter to God. So many times young people go through so many things in their minds and they don't really know if they matter or not. Yeah. Yeah. Confused, peer pressure, yeah. all kinds of things going into their ears. Yeah. So they do things like drugs and alcohol yeah. Yeah. or sell their bodies. Yeah. There's things that are going on, amen? Yeah. There's things that are going on, but you matter to God. Yeah. And I'm here to remind you, you are designed for his purpose, yeah. amen? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. God has made a declaration, declaration concerning you, and you have to declare it over your life today. Because whatever you declare has tremendous power. Yes. Amen. In Proverbs 18, 20 and 21, it says, With the fruit of a man's mouth, his stomach will be satisfied. He will be satisfied with the product of his lips. Yes. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those that will eat it love its fruit. Amen. Praise God. You have the power to declare death or life over you. Amen? Amen. And I speak life to you today. Yeah. Amen? You have spiritually dead. You have said that you can't go any further. You have said, you know what? I've messed up too much. You know what? There's no hope for me. There's no forgiveness for me. I speak life to you. Hallelujah. And the life I give you is Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is his name. Amen? Praise the Lord. God put you here for his purpose. Not your purpose. Not your mama's purpose. I know you love your mama. But not your mama's purpose. Not your daddy's purpose. Not your grandmother's purpose. Grandma's good and now is good, but it ain't even for her purpose. Amen. It's not for your job's purpose or not for your school's purpose. But it's for God's purpose. That he can get the glory out of your life. So when you understand that, you start to see life from a different perspective. And the way you see life will divulge your purpose. And when you see your purpose, it will clearly help you see God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you see your purpose, it will clearly help you see God. How many of you heard of the story of Nick? Nick the Sujavik. Anybody heard of that name? Well, if you heard, have you ever heard of life without limits? What it was, he was born just a body. Just a body. He had no arms. He had no legs. He had nothing but a body. But his parents loved him. They saw something great in him. You know what? Even though he had nothing, he still tried to go off of what his parents told him, the encouragement that they tried to give him. But how many of you know that, you know, even people with legs and arms, they don't do a lot. That's right. Amen. 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 They don't do a lot of things that they need to be doing. Amen. Amen. But what happened is at 10 years old, he became discouraged. He said, you know what? I can't do anything. I can't walk. I can't use my hands to brush my teeth. I can't comb my hair. I can't do anything. You know what? It's life worth living. He felt that life was not worth living. So at 10 years old, he decided, you know what? I might as well give up. So he actually scooted himself over in the pool, and he fell down. And he said, you know, I might as well drown. But oh God, God had a purpose for him. God had a savior for him. Someone saw him fall in the pool and rescued him. Praise the Lord. And guess what? To this day, he has started a foundation called Life Without 